flows across fro frozen ground, it's not soaking in, then it goes down their tunnels, hits the thawed soil, and it soaks in down there. Here's another example. You can see all the water and even wash the grass right down into that, into that little hole there. There's oodles of bathtub drains. Now, if I was putting uh, rodent poison out to kill all these rodents in my quote-unquote orchard area, I wouldn't have the benefits of water infiltration, so I'd probably have to use drip irrigation to get the irrigation that I'm not getting because I'm letting all the water wash away. Goes in, must come out. Uh, this right up the top of the screen here is a rodent hole. You just look at all the sediment and debris that has come out. So here's more ecological disturbance. The material that was uh, all green and wonderful here got buried with more silt and chunks of plastic and whatever else it is that was uh, in that hole and got washed out. Um, and just to show you a, a couple of uh, things around, you can go online and look at all kinds of ridiculous pictures uh, of, of animal tunnels. But in their tunnels, so these tunnels now water is flying down in it. Well, some of these that are up like this and up like this, up like this, the water goes in and now they're in an airlock chamber and they're perfectly safe from all this flood water that now goes down into their other tunnels. And no doubt, as soon as the water starts flowing down the walls, they're like, honey, let's go up to the nursery and spend the night up there. So they go up there and I've never seen rodents getting washed out of their tunnels. So somehow they've got these little safety rooms in there that, that are airlocked up above the, uh, above the water. Now what's really significant, how it relates directly, directly to uh, restoration agriculture is human disturbance is a disturbance, it still is. Uh, like in the case of mining here, it may be a lot more devastating than some kind of natural disturbance. Uh, arguably this is no more disturbing than a uh, volcanic eruption like Mount St. Helens. Um, and what's even fascinating about this is even in serious uh, mining operations, strip mine, mountaintop removal operations, there are still legacies left behind. Windblown seed still comes in and colonizes it. Fungi are somehow still able to, to colonize and mycelium goes all through this mess, even if it's toxic, believe it or not. There's life in there. There is some sort of legacy uh, left behind here and it is still going through succession into the future. All these different things, logging, mining, fire suppression, construction, settlement, clearing for agriculture, all of these are ecological disturbances. And if we remember that disturbance is an observable event in time that changes the structure, species composition, and the function of the ecosystem. Agriculture, how we get our food, is an ecological disturbance. 